What's up, everybody? What's up, everybody? Welcome back to a new video. <laughs> I just think I'm too high. Oh, I'm gonna start this bitch up. My nuts better fall off, bro. It's so cold. <laughs> It's like a symphony. All right, ladies and gents. Today, we got ourselves a chest, shoulder, and tricep day. So you could call it a push day. I guess you could say I run a push-pull leg just three times a week because I do a rest day in between each. This whole training arc, you could call it, about intensity. We're going as hard as humanly possible, and we're taking into account rest at the same time. So I guess I can make my pre right now. We got the homie sitting in the back. This is a three-seater. Yup. Update on the cut. I am 204.2 in the morning. I'm pretty evened out. Like I said last video, you gotta kinda get past that hump when you're on your cut where you kinda started to lose all your water, but you still got a majority of that fat. You gotta wait like three or four weeks into your cut and give your body time to kinda even things out get the water off and then the fat starts coming off. That's when you start looking sick. So we're running Enraged and Pump Serum, Code Monkey, huge supplements. I just throw the pump in it too because the Enraged, the high stim doesn't have the pump like normal Wrecked does, but it has a stim to make up for it. So I just throw this in too. Sour as fuck. Let's get on going. Objective for today in the gym is just go as ham as humanly possible and to beat our previous chest, shoulder, and tricep day. So we got it all logged. I got my goals in my head. We're going in the gym with the plan. We just gotta execute. Alrighty, so today chest, shoulders, triceps. We're starting off with chest. Uh, I'm gonna do a pre-exhaust, pre-stretch movement and then we'll go into my press. I chose a, just a hammer strength incline press. It's like the plate loaded machine. I like to do that, I get a good stretch on my upper shelf. I do not have a whole lot of upper chest mass so we're trying to bring that up. Pre-exhaust, pre-stretch, it's a good warm up slash it's good to build mind muscle connection get the muscles working properly get the mind in the right place so other muscles don't take over i just feel best when i do it i get a sick pump when i do it and i've been noticing progress from doing it so we're gonna do this we're gonna try to pr i hit you see i've just been putting in my notes honestly i got too lazy i usually go all out and make excels like a fucking nerd and shit but just throwing in the notes i got 90 pounds and i got seven good reps so I'm gonna try to get 10. Try to max out that rep scheme and then move the weight up. But don't let the number stop you from hitting failure. So if you have a six to 10 rep range and you're just feeling real good, you had a good night's sleep and you got 12, have 12 be failure and then you just know you gotta move up the next week. But hit failure intensity, baby. Chest is a wrap. That machine, bro, I've been making progress. I've been putting pounds on it even though I'm losing weight. I think it's just because it's a new stimulus. It's not a machine I programmed before just because my gyms haven't had that machine. But that incline hammer strength, 
if you got that, try it. I mean, one machine doesn't fit all, so if you don't fuck with the machine, just change it out for something else. You don't want to do something that feels unnatural or doesn't biomechanically work for you. Even if him and your favorite influencer and this science person, if it doesn't work for you, it doesn't work for you. Just sometimes people have longer arms, or shorter torsos, so pressing is sometimes weird for them. You see it a lot in powerlifting. Leverage is like everything in powerlifting. That's why you see everyone with such drastically different form whenever they're performing the same three movements because they have to make it work best for them and their leverages. But when you're doing bodybuilding, plenty of machines to choose from. I love hammer strength or Cybex. Cybex is a good one too. Have you used Cybex? Uh, it's like the buff motherfuckers that live and breathe bodybuilding out in the UK. They're mm -hmm. always on the Cybex. And they got like the gym pins to attach like 200 extra pounds because they just max out the fucking gym. <laughs> so next target is gonna be shoulders. I'm gonna do these side lateral raises. I was doing the machine side lateral raises where you hit this but I changed it out just because I've always noticed the best mind-muscle connection, especially with cross cables like this, where you can bring it from a really low position all the way up here, all while keeping tension. I feel like even on the machines, a lot of the weight is unevenly distributed throughout the movement, so this is like constant tension. I'm even getting a good pause at the top, peak contraction, you gotta get that, and then all the way down, controlled throughout the whole movement. Do like a two to three second count each way. Don't pussy out with weight though. You're just controlling it, but you're controlling it to failure. Even though you will have to go lighter, you're gonna get quality reps if you keep it consistent and don't cheat. I think you're gonna pass out. Wait, what are you hitting, legs? Yeah. Oh, okay. Does That's understandable. That's though? understandable. Does my butt look bigger than it did before? Yeah, it just will never be as big as mine. But it, you're on the right track. <laughs> the, kids, the kids will be blessed, for sure. W genetics. <laughs> At least I have calves, bitch. <laughs> <laughs> she a hater. Shoulders are complete. My only other shoulder movement, I do shrugs on my back day, but that's after a rest day tomorrow and then I do back. Other than that, we're good. We're gonna move on to triceps. We're gonna do press down, get that good uh, medial head action, and then we're gonna do some, you could argue that's long head, but I'm not gonna do all that, what, who is it, Chris Bumstead that gives that tip, where you put it over your head. You can train differently. I'm gonna keep the uh, press downs pretty close though. And then we're gonna do dips to failure. I'm not that good at body weight movement, so. I'm trying to get better at them, but I'm gonna go body weight plus my triceps will 100% be fried from these press downs. So just a failure, I think I got like eight clean reps last week. So I'll shoot for 10. And then once my body weight drops and I kind of get stronger at dips, I'll have some weight hanging from my sack. I want to get like a proper, honest 10 reps with a plate hanging from my sack. That's the goal. Come here. Before we slap some triceps, let me give you a anatomy 101. If you look at my arm here, there is two thirds of my arm that makes up the anatomy of my arm. Guess what muscle makes up two thirds of your arm? The tricep. You do activate it a lot with chest movements, but you definitely want to directly train your arms if you want some big ass arms. Whether you're on gear, you're natural, you're crossfitter, power lifter, you have to put intensity in the muscle, you have to force it to grow. You can rock the easy bar, just whatever you feel a good peak contraction with and to where you can bring the muscle to the full range of motion and get that good stretch at the bottom. I'm gonna do, what did I do last week? I performed 65 for seven reps. So I'm gonna try to get eight. Honestly, anything that is progressing in reps or weight or even a cleaner set, I'll take that as progress, especially while cutting. I'm losing weight. So mostly people start cutting, they start training lighter, and I'm tired, and then their muscles shrivel the fuck up. You don't want to let off the intensity. You want to train the same way you're round, baby. Okay?
so that's a wrap for the lift. It'll get harder and harder to maintain strength as the weeks go on, but I'm gonna try my darnest to keep my strength or even gain strength. Sometimes there's room to gain strength, so you gotta ride the waves of the gains. If momentum's there, then ride the wave. If it's not, it's not gonna kill you to uh, drop off a rep or two, but we bust our balls to not let that happen. So if it does, then it's inevitable, but trying to control the variables. So the plan is me and Marin are gonna go get her passports and we want to go to Japan this year. That might be happening in the next few months. Other than that, I kind of want people to come hang out with me. The twins said they wanted to come out to Utah. Um, I might get Jack West to come out. I didn't really get a film with bro when he came out here. We were just busy doing the Young LA Black Friday stuff, so I really only got a film with Lex, but Jack is the bro. Shout out Jack. If you guys don't follow Jack West, go follow him. Maybe get Vaughn out here. I fuck with Vaughn a lot too. He's super down to earth. It's very rare to have people who are actually like down to earth, especially with social media and stuff and everyone trying to use each other and fucking do shit for views, shit that they normally wouldn't do and it's like out of their morals, but. Or even Gabe, Gabe said he wanted to come out here uh, too. I want Gabe, we love Gabe. Yeah, I don't think I've seen Gabe even slightly ticked off before. No, he's just I like don't... the nicest, yeah. humblest guy. Someone could like spill coffee on his white shoes and he'd be like, ah, it's okay, I can get more. <laughs> I'm gonna grab more ice because I'm running low for the ice baths and then we're gonna go home and get some grub. My meals don't change very much. Uh, even in the off season, a lot of people ask me like, yo, do a full day of eating and stuff and I really could, but it would literally be the same or pretty damn similar diet to my off season, like bulking meals just in smaller portions of carbs. Literally the only thing that I'll change is like carb intake. If I had like a cup of rice before and I wanted to be in a deficit, I'll eat like half a cup of rice or I'll take out what's another carb, like English muffins. I'll take out an English muffin. Maybe down the road increase like a scoop of protein or like maybe an extra serving of lean meat just to even out the calories. But all my calories taken away are mostly carbs. That's a pro tip. Eat more protein. That helps with sustaining muscle on your cut. And don't be afraid of eating more fats because fats have direct correlation with your hormone balances and such. So when you keep fats a little higher, like still having eggs and peanut butter and like fitting those things in, chances are you'll feel a lot better and it'll keep you fuller longer. If so. you eat eggs in the beginning of the day, they'll stay in your stomach. That's why people like recommend eating eggs and shit or like avocado is another good fat source. I'm fucking rambling, but I'm gonna go get ice and then we're gonna head home and get some grub because I'm fucking hungry. Crazy. Bro, they don't make these bitches for big foreheads. Look at that shit. <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> I like your forehead just the way it is. Oh, she got me on face care and shit. I'd be having like three or he four uses, steps. He uses the Tatcha Dewy Cream and the Summer's Eve oil, face oil. Yeah. And the Tula, I think it's called Tula Eye Brightening Serum. That's facts. We got a shipment. We got an order. Young LA. I'm gonna start doing like little box openings when I get the packages. A, because I can be surprised because we get packages a little bit earlier because we like to do shots with Drew and we make like reels for the page. So we get stuff a little bit early so I can give you all a little sneak peek of what's coming. God damn. That's some good ass packaging. This shit looked like it survived a fucking tactical nuke. Ooh. Oh, I don't think I got the orange ones, bro. Uh, We're gonna have to trade. Nah. <laughs> These are freaking nice. And it has like the rubber embroiderment. Has it on the back too. I love that pocket. Uh-huh. They're so comfortable, dude. Yo, babe, just just try. You can try these ones on. Hold on, let me ride these. God damn. I like to get my joggers like a size up. I could rock a large, but I get an XL just because I like them baggy and comfy. And you kind of look like a samurai in them. Miss! How they feel, how they feel. That's kind of These are fit. really comfy. So they're going with this font. They're rocking with that. I like that collar. I like thick, dense collars. Nice stretchy shirt. Wait, what are these? Oh shit, they're shorts. Dude, those look mad comfy too. What does that remind you of? Like Aztec warrior shit? Like some, yeah, like columns from like the Roman era or some shit like that. Dude, these are definitely gonna be the stream shorts. I'm streaming these. And then there was like a t-shirt too, let me see. Oh, I fuck with this. That's quality stuff. Is that everything? Oh, bro, I would have fucking worn this today. This is sick. Oh, I like that. I'm really fucking with this font. And on the back. Yeah. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, that's nice. This stuff will be dropping March 28th. 
So you can use anyone's code. If you want to use my code, it is code MONKEY at checkout to save 50% on that. All right, all right. All right, recovery mode. We're going to eat a lot of food, rest up, sleep, have a good rest day tomorrow. Like I said, I rest in between each training day. It's just what works best for me, and that's what keeps progress rolling for me. Uh, ingest a little bit of za. I do not recommend it for everyone. It's definitely personal preference. People react to it differently. It just helps me get more productive, and it kind of tones down inflammation and stuff with the training hard, but definitely not for everyone. Just something like to do at night, calm down, get the vibes going. But... That is going to be a wrap for the video. I hope you did enjoy. If you did, slap that like button in the ass for me. Until next time, peace out, baby.